all right so good, good evening everyone today we are going to start with part 2 of the lecture part 2 would be about the different kind of civil uprisings that india saw before 1857 okay before 1857 what were the different kinds of uprisings that we saw we are going to study that today but before we study that today we are going to study some point point some portion about uh, you know from the perspective of mains also because I was going through some of the questions, previous year questions for mains, and I came across few questions which were asking, what were the origin of resistance movements before 1857? Okay, so that we are going to study today. So, when we talk about the resistance movement before 1857, here, when we talk about the revolts that happened 1857 se pehle, before 1857, whatever revolts happened, those revolts can be divided into different parts or categories. So what are those parts and categories? First is the civil rebellion. Civil rebellion means those rebellions or you can say those, uh, you know, uprisings, which came from the side of zamindars or the local rulers, okay? So here civil rebellions, they involved zamindars. Zamindars were protesting against the Britishers. Local rulers, they were protesting against the Britishers. And then there were peasants who were protesting against the Britishers. These are the civil rebellions. The civil people, they were participating. And also the local police, etc. The local traditional police, etc right officers officers uh, you will write officials or officers these were the people who were involved in the civil rebellions when we talk about the second category of revolts which happened before 1857 we have the tribal uprisings we have the tribal uprisings in the tribal uprisings we saw the tribal community participate in the in the agitation against the britishers Okay, so here we would see the tribal community people who were participating in the agitation against the Britishers. Why they were participating? Because the Britishers were trying to snatch away their lands for their own revenue administration. These are the terms that you have to remember in your mind. Revenue administration, land snatching eviction etc these terms are going to help you frame good answers in mains so tribal communities why they were fighting against the britishers because the britishers were involved in revenue administration in which they were snatching away or taking away the control of the tribal communities on their own lands apni khud ki zameeno par tribal communities control nahi kar pa rahi thi britishers apne fayde ke liye unse unki zameen chheen rahe the the next category of revolts before 1857 would be the peasants, the peasant movements. Okay. Now here in the and in the civil rebellions, we have the sannyasis also. Sannyasis means the saints, the fakirs, okay, spiritual people. Now, peasant movements where we will see the farmers standing against the Britishers. Now, so far in whatever classes we have taken so far. I have discussed again and again why the peasants were the most affected community in India because of the British atrocities. Why the farmers were the ones who were most damaged, right, because of the British rule. Then comes the next category that is the military revolt. I told you I discussed a very important revolt yesterday which comes in the category of military revolts. Let me know in the comment section which revolt did we study which is a part of military revolt. Can you give the name? Yes, Vikas, Risha, Vatsalya, very good. The Paika Rebellion. The Paika Rebellion. Okay, so this was the military revolt. The Paika Rebellion. Now tell me in the comment section, what is the meaning of the word Paika? What is the meaning of the word Paika? Let me know in the comment section, what is the meaning of the word Paika? We discussed it yesterday. Do not flip the pages. Yes. No, it's a rebellion means bidro. Rishab, rebellion means bidro. Please write it down, Abhi. You have got it wrong. Rebellion means bidro. What is the meaning of the term paika? What is paika? Rebellion ka matlab bidro. That means you are rebelling against something. You are revolting. 
in uh, you know odisha in assam area rebellion is known as bidro vatsalya tell me you studied this rebe rebellion yesterday what is the meaning of the term paika did you revise batao jaldi se paika ka matlab kya hai who were the paikas kon the paikas yes they were the traditional they were the traditional militia very good vatsalya traditional militia of odisha okay rishab point is clear or not yani ki revision nahi ho rahi hai you guys are not revising so paika means the traditional military commanders of odisha which kingdom vatsalya which kingdom ishwar vikas which kingdom paika were a part of which kingdom in odisha jaldi se batao fatafat yes khurda very good they were a part of the khurda kingdom acha tell me what was the currency system which was in odisha which was removed by the britishers we discussed all of it last in the last class kauri very good kauris were made up of very good ishwar kauris were made up of shell sea shells okay point clear and the britishers they were demanding tax in which currency the britishers were demanding tax in odisha in which currency silver very good chalo very good now you are being active aise hi jawab dene hain fatafat revise karte raho revise daily please let me know if this flow chart is drawn sabne bana liya everybody draw this drew this flow chart okay now click a picture of this flow chart fatafat se not this pan the flow chart that you had made in your register click a picture of the flow chart that you have made in your own register i am waiting giving you 3 to 2 to 3 minutes apne register mein jo flow chart banaya hai uski picture lo fatafat se this particular flow chart if you have made it take a picture of it and post it right now on the telegram group i would like to see how many of you are just sitting and looking at the lecture and how many of you are literally making notes your own notes within the next 2 minutes i want the picture on the telegram group let's see how many of you are really making notes in the classes or how many of you are just dependent on the videos isse pata chalega kitne bacche active hain class mein ishwar take your time in the meantime take the notes of the uh, you know this particular white board vikas is vikas is saying i am in traveling okay vikas chalo koi nahi vikas and ishwar रिशभ ने भेज दिया है आई गॉट द इमेज फ्रॉम रिशभ साइड एंड वत्सल्या व्हाट अबाउट यू ओके रिशभ व्हेन यू ड्रॉ दीज एरोज ना दीज एरोज ट्राई टू अवॉइड देम ओके बिकॉज दिस विल बिकम योर हैबिट इन मेंस ट्राई टू आइदर मेक दीज पॉइंट्स दीज सर्कल्स और दीज स्मॉल बॉक्सेस और इन नंबर्स ठीक है और इन अल्फाबेट्स or try to make roman numerals theek hai these are the uh, part of formal presentation theek hai not these arrows so from next time in your notes try to avoid making these arrows theek hai all right and when you make these kind of arrows na aise is tarike se aap banate ho this is again not uh, you know formal is tarike se you can create theek hai you have to be very formal when it comes to making notes also because that would become your habit in mains theek hai because later on to change a particular habit it becomes very tough okay to so, chalo yahan tak sabko clear ho gaya point vatsalya also sent the vatsalya very good the notes now are very strategic earlier the first note that picture that you sent me that was very you know unprofessional manner of making notes now this one is very professional theek hai very good so why what is the motive behind asking you all to you know take the picture of the you know of your notes and send it to me on telegram because i want to help you develop the writing habit for mains because once you clear your prelims which you will once you clear your prelims it becomes very tough to work on our habit because we have only one and a half to two months or three months for mains preparation and in those months we have to prepare the optional also we have to revise so much current affairs pe focus karna hai time is wasted there is no time left for developing habit of writing okay so that is why i am trying to inculcate that habit from this class from this batch thank you rishab okay so let's start yahan tak sabne kar liya ishwar please let me know if you have noted this down 
these little anecdotes are going to be very helpful for you in the later stages. Again, it applies to every subject, not just for history, every subject, especially for geography, because geography is a very strategic paper. There, not just your knowledge will be tested, your presentation will be tested too. Okay, in geography, these kind of flowcharts are going to help you a lot. Chalo. Now, moving ahead, aage hai. so so far we have understood that before 1857, there were different kinds of revolts that happened. Now, when I was going through the previous year question papers of mains and prelims, I got this particular question. Uh, it was being repeated four to five times. The question was origin of these resistance. How did this resistance originate? From where did this resistance start? Okay. So, when did this start hua hai resistance? Before 1857, what were the causes why these resistance were starting? Now, I know you all know the answer because we have discussed it in the last lecture also. But how will we present the answer? You know that there, the Britishers, uh, you know, attitude was, was very rude and plus they, they were corrupt, they were greedy, they were, you know, increasing the taxes and the revenue demand was also increasing. They were concerned with only making money because their administration was revenue administration. We know all of this, but how to present it? So we are going to draw a flow chart for that. So that in your mains, you will have a structure how to start the answer. Okay. So when we talk about the origin of resistance, it was known as people's uprising. These uprisings were known as people's uprisings. Is tariqe ke uprising ko people's uprisings bolte the. And these people's uprisings was against whom? Write it down. It was targeted against the rulers and the officials. The rulers and the British rulers and the officials. Okay. And the reason was, the origination point was, write it down. I'll change the ink of the pen. The reason was states high. This arrow is high. Okay. Increasing or high. The states high land income demand the states high land income demand second reason was corrupt practices second reason was corrupt practices third reason was the harsh attitude third reason was the harsh attitude harsh attitude of whom of the authorities of the authorities the first reason states high land income demand that because of which they were pressurizing the zamindars to take more and more revenue from the farmers. Second, the corrupt practices of zamindars also, money lenders also, mahajans also and the revenue officials also. Third, the harsh attitude of the Britishers. They did not care whether rain is coming or not, whether there is drought. They did not care about it. They wanted their revenue. Okay, so there was a harsh attitude from the side of the Britishers or you can say pro of the authorities. So just create a box like this. This is called the formal way of presenting your answer and this is how you have to prepare reports also in the future when you will become a civil administrator, whether you are an IPS or IES. Even when you become an IPS, you will not be working on the field from day one. No, first you will be shifted in the department of the administrative work as an IPS officer also. Then later on, after few months or few years, you will be working on the field among the people. Initially, you will be posted in an administrative department where you will have to make reports and do the paperwork so that you can learn about the administration in a written manner. reports How the crimes are counted, the statistics are formed, the data is collected, how it is presented to the higher authorities. You will learn that paperwork. Then after six months or one year, you will be posted in the field. Clear? Mm -hmm. So whether you are an IRS, IPS, IAS or IFS, first you will have to make reports. You will have to collect data. You will have to understand data and you have to do the paperwork. Point clear? That is why the mains exam is created. Okay? So that is why I am trying to inculcate this writing habit in all of you. So these were the three basic reasons. And these were the reasons which caused dissatisfaction. These were the reasons which caused dissatisfaction towards, towards, towards the alien government. What is the alien government here? Let me know in the comment section. Who am I calling the alien government over here? 
कौन है यहाँ पर एलियन गवर्नमेंट ये बात चल रहा वेरी गुड द ब्रिटिशर्स आर दी एलियन गवर्नमेंट ओवर हेयर वेरी गुड ईश्वर रिशभ वेरी गुड एलियन गवर्नमेंट इज द ब्रिटिशर्स सी द टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट वी आर यूजिंग दीज आर द डिफरेंट टर्म्स दैट यू कैन यूज इन योर आंसर्स टू डिनोट द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट दैट वुड मेक यू नो मेक यू एलिजिबल फॉर बोनस मार्क्स बिकॉज द एग्जामिनर विल अंडरस्टैंड की दिस पर्सन इज वेल रेड पर्सन ठीक है यू हैव टू प्रेजेंट योर सेल्फ एज अ वेल रेड पर्सन नॉट एज अ पैरेट हुज क्रैम्ड एवरीथिंग एंड पोरिंग इट इट आउट यू नो पोरिंग इट आउट ऑन द पेपर सो वी हैव टू बी वेल रेड सो एलियन गवर्नमेंट ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट now here you have to understand that there were incursions there were incursions of these strangers of these strangers into the lands of tribal communities this was also one of the reason of the origin of resistance okay of tribal communities tribal communities had their own government tribal government tribal communities were outside the purview of the local janta theek hai they were separate from them from all of us so they had their own governmental system right tribal communities mein koi zyada ghusta bhi nahi hai because unka system apna established hai they have a well established system hierarchy everything so the britishers the strangers are the britishers they were trying to enter into the lands of the tribal communities they were trying to interfere into the working of the tribal governance and that is why the tribal revolts took place theek hai next yahan par point likho gaya expansion expansion of revenue administration expansion of revenue administration over the tribal territory over the tribal territory theek hai so the tribal people over here underline the tribal people write it down they were facing loss of control over the agricultural over the agricultural and forest areas the agricultural and forest areas okay because if you are traveling please simultaneously take screenshots of these notes also okay so that later on you can write them down in your register Simultaneously keep taking screenshot of the notes as well. तो यहाँ तक सब कुछ clear है. Origin of resistance first is people surprisings against the rulers and officials. Why? Because state was increasing their land income demand. I told you about the land revenue system, zamindari, mahalwari, talukdari system, and the uh, permanent settlement system. ठीक है, रेवतवारी system. Second, their corrupt practices that also we discussed. Harsh attitude of the authorities. then they were trying to you know put your their hands on the lands of tribal communities they were trying to interfere into the tribal administration they were expanding their revenue administration over the tribal territory even the normal janta or the kings indian rulers they never used to interfere into the working of the tribal community but these britishers were interfering so the tribal people were facing loss of control over their own agricultural land and forest areas ओके एंड दीज अथॉरिटी अथॉरिटीज यहां पर आप एरो बना लो दीज अथॉरिटीज व्हाट दे वर डूइंग दे वर जस्ट कंसर्न दे वर कंसर्न विद मेकिंग मनी ये तो बस पैसा बनाने के लिए ही कंसर्न थे दे जस्ट वांटेड मनी ऑब्वियसली दे डिड नॉट वांटेड टू मेक इंडिया वेरी फ्लरिशिंग लैंड दे वांटेड टू लूट इंडिया सो दे वर कंसर्न विद मेकिंग मनी ओनली एंड द कॉलोनियल write it down the colonial legal system the colonial legal system and court and court what they did they protected they protected the interest of the interest of the government and its collaborators and its collaborators even the justice system was against the common people the peasants or the sanyasis etc the justice system also did not support the people of india at that time collaborators of the government were zamindars mahajans rich people some indian rulers who were signing the subsidiary alliance and doctrine of lapse policy etc theek hai so the authorities were concerned with making money and they protected the interest of the even the legal system protected the interest of the government british government and its collaborators that is also the reason of the origin of these uprisings or these resistance yahan tak point sabko clear hai please let me know in the comment section if the point is clear
let me know Rishab is saying yes other students points clear Ishwar is saying yes Vatsalya Vikas very good so these collaborators were landlords, merchants and money lenders. Write it down. These were the collaborators of British government. Okay, here you box and you can write it in the Please let me know in the comment section, are you enjoying the flowchart format of studying history? If you have any opinion, you can tell me. Do you want me to write paragraphs and just write, you know, copy paste on the presentation on slide and explain you, read everything? Do you want me also to make notes with you in the class or do you want me to just read the slides and, you know, complete and finish the batch? Flowcharts are good. They are helpful for all of you. All right. Because I can do that also. I can just make slides, add pictures and then, then I can read the slides and explain. But I think I think personally find it very interesting when we create notes together in the class because that makes our mind more engaging plus likhte likhte bahut sari cheeze apne time ki yaad aa jati hai when i write na when i write answers or flow, make flow charts for you i remember the way i wrote answers right and how they were also appreciated so and then you know it makes me add my own anecdotes Okay, for example how to make points how to write one two three how to not make these arrows or these ticks in the answers, right? So, isse mujhe apni cheeze yaad jati hai. The points that worked in my favor, I may, you know, re remember those points while writing and making flowcharts for all of you. Chalo, aage hai, let's move forward. So, this was the origin of the resistance, okay? Now, when we talk about another important point that I found in the mains previous year question paper, that was the cause of resistance. Okay, cause of resistance. Now you must be wondering, ma'am, what are you doing? Origin and cause, aren't they the same? Origin ho ya cause ho, same ni hota kya? Yes, it is the same. Origin means the starting point. Okay, cause means the reason why the starting point even originated. Okay, origin means the starting point. For example, I started vomiting in the morning. Okay, so that was the origin of me falling sick. Okay, because I vomited a lot, so my BP was low and I fell sick. But what was the cause? Cause means why did that vomiting happen? Okay, the cause was I ate something wrong last night. That is why the vomiting happened and that is why I fell sick. Point clear, right? The point is clear. Origin means from where me falling sick, from where it started. When I started vomiting, then I fell sick. Why did I fell sick? Origin point was vomiting. I vomited a lot. But cause is, cause means, why did this vomiting start, happen? Because I ate the junk food at night. So, digest nahi hua aur ho gaya. Thik hai, ulti ho gai. Point clear ho gaya. So, this is the difference between origin and cause. Why am I explaining this to you? Because in one of the mock interviews, I was asked this question. So, that is the beauty of making flowcharts with all of you. Bhoot sari cheeze yaad a jati hai. Thik hai? Point clear. And this life is a cycle. What was asked, you know, to me can be asked to you as well. Take a mutse pucha gavu tumse bi pucha jasakta. Toki life took cycle in a gol gol gumta. Yata point clear or right? Please let me know in the comment section. Now, cause of the resistance. When we talk about the first cause, the first cause of resistance was that the colonial land, the colonial land had different revenue settlement system. That was one of the cause why the peasants participated in the movement. Why the peasants started getting agitated. What was the reason? Because of the colonial land revenue settlement system. Okay, zamindari, mahalwari, reotwari. Next, because in all those systems, peasants did not benefit. Next cause ho jata hai, write it down. The high weight, the high weight of additional of additional taxes third cause was the eviction of the eviction of farmers from their from their own lands we saw that in the zamindari system right if you remember if you have revised the class 
next cause would be encroachment next cause would be encroachment on the tribal territories encroachment means when you are illegally trying to snatch away or you know be present on somebody else's land encroachment on tribal territories and another important point over here would be exploitation exploitation in rural life the rural people were exploited that we all know the farmers were exploited the rural people were exploited yahan tak point clear ho gaya sabhi ko to please jaldi se batao if the point is clear so far and you have drawn this particular flow chart let me know clear hai theek hai another important you know reason would be destruction destruction of indigenous indigenous industry okay wherein the employees wherein the employees ishwar is saying what are the additional taxes ishwar if you remember in the last lecture we talked about the salt tax these were the additional taxes okay you are putting taxes on harvest on land but what is this salt tax why are you increasing tax on salt that is the part of staple food diet of people right so aap aise how can you do that so that was also and that happened in bengal in surat in many areas of assam right in the last lecture we discussed it the urban taxation so uske andar ye tha ki salt tax was increased this was a form of additional tax that they were taking theek hai to matlab they are you are looting us from all sides even you are entering our food cycle right hamare food cycle mein bhi ghus ke usme tax laga rahe ho aap now here when we talk about destruction of indigenous industries because of the destruction of the indigenous handicraft industry textile industry the employees migrated the employees migrated from industrial sector from industrial sector to agriculture to agriculture and because there was a large scale influx of people coming from industries running from industries to agriculture because of that what happened there was a strain or stress on land and agriculture land is limited na ultimately land to limited hai ab industry se bhag kar log zameenon mein aa rahe hain agriculture karne farmer ban rahe hain zameen to limited hai right so there was a strain on the agriculture sector land on different kind of lands so these were the causes of resistance this is why the resistance started kya the point clear ho gaya if you have made this flow chart let me know in the comment section after making it then we'll move forward uske baad hum aage badhenge sab mujhe bata denge ek baar that they have made this flow chart then we'll move forward vatsalya is saying she has made this flow chart okay vatsalya what about the other students मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म सिविल आई टोल्ड यू इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ दिस क्लास सिविल इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू इट इज इंट रिलेटेड टू द डिफेंस और द मिलिट्री this is very important point when in question in, in a particular question if they ask you the causes behind the civil uprising before 1857 in that question when you start your answer in the introduction you can write civil in civil uprising civil is not related to defense or military it is related to it is related to a the deposed rulers the rulers who have been overthrown by the britishers for example the ruler of khurda ठीक है, the deposed rulers. Second, zamindars, those zamindars who were uh, whose zamindari was snatched away from by the Britishers. They were their ego was hurt, right? Hurt landlords. Hurt landlords. Fourth, ex retainers. Ex retainers. Fifth आ जाता है आपका officials. officials of conquered 
दैट मीन्स कॉन्कर्ड स्टेट्स ठीक है जो भी स्टेट्स इन्होंने कॉन्कर किए थे ब्रिटिशर्स दे कॉन्कर्ड फ्यू स्टेट्स द ऑफिशियल्स नॉट द रूलर्स द ऑफिशियल्स ऑफ दो स्टेट्स सिक्स आप क्या आ जाते हैं जॉबलेस जॉबलेस क्राफ्टमैन जॉबलेस क्राफ्टमैन देन डीमोबलाइज सेवेंथ डीमोबलाइज सोल्जर्स गिव मी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डीमोबलाइज सोल्जर्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ यू नो रिवोल्ट हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर इशू जल्दी से बताओ वेरी इजी लास्ट इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस डे द डीमोबलाइज सोल्जर्स द रेबिलियन विच है the deposed ruler and demobilized soldier there was one rebellion which happened yes what sale a paika rebellion theek hai eight to jata hai rack rented peasants okay to yahan par these were the eight kind of people who were participants in the civil uprisings now we have understood what civil uprising is we have understood what kind of rulers were what kind of people were involved in the civil uprising Now the question it what the question is what was the cause of civil uprising? So its cause kya tha? Okay, let us understand that. Then we'll study a very important revolt. So here we know when we talk about the causes. First cause is rapid, rapid changes in. Just give me a second. Yes, rapid changes in the economy. second administration and third land revenue system land revenue system these were the three major causes of the civil uprisings the rapid changes in economy administration and land revenue system the example of land revenue system the changes in land revenue system would be zamindari ryotwari malwari people were not able to adapt to those different kind of settlement systems a uh, you know very uh, rapidly the britishers were changing the land revenue system economy example can be cowrie system of currency it was being removed it was being replaced by silver administration administration would be the ryotwari system where the zamindars were removed as intermediaries and revenue officials were created those revenue officials were not monitored properly because of which they became corrupt because of which the farmers ultimately suffered so these examples you can add in your mains point clear ho raha hai now are you becoming confident how to write answer in mains how can we add examples examples can be added through your own learnings write it down land revenue system three kinds of land revenue system were there people were not able to adapt to three different kinds of land revenue system very rapidly they were changing administration the revenue officials in the ryotwari system ठीक है, these are the examples. Write it, write down the heading also. Economy, the removal of cowrie system. ठीक है, तो इस तरीके के examples you can add in your answer sheet only, in your notes register only. ठीक है, so these rapid changes were caused during, during the company rule. Company rule के दौरान ये changes आए थे. Okay, and another important point is when we look at the zamindars. जब हम जमींदार्स की तरफ देखते हैं, we know that the zamindars also lost control of their lands. They also lost control of their lands and earnings because those zamindars who could not efficiently, add, you know, exact extract the revenue from the farmers, they also lost their zamindaris. So zamindars also lost control of their lands and earnings. And in the Ryotwari system. zamindars were removed from the uh, as the intermediary revenue officials were created so zamindars lost their earnings also so because of which because of which their ego was bruised bruised means chot pahunch gayi thi the ego was hurt theek hai they were demoted in status promoted means when you are elevated to a higher level demoted means when you are pulled back so they were demoted in status all right point clear ho gaya yahan tak and then millions of million of craftsmen they also became destitute because craftsmen's industry was also destroyed they became destitute so they left their industries they ran towards the agricultural sector because of which there was pressure on the land because of which agricultural sector also came down now are you able to inter relate everything yes or no in the comment section please अब इंटर रिलेशन हो रहा है बैठ रहा है लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन
कमेंट सेक्शन में फटाफट से बताओ इंटर रिलेशन बैठा पा रहे हो चीजों के बीच में कुछ चीजें टफ लग रही हैं तो बताओ आर यू फाइंडिंग थिंग्स टफ टू अंडरस्टैंड और आर यू एबल टू इंटर रिलेट नाउ बी वेरी फ्रेंक एंड लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन इज इट बिकमिंग कंफ्यूजिंग और नाउ इज इट बिकमिंग ईजी विकास ईश्वर वत्सल्या ऋषभ ओके थिंग्स आर बिकमिंग ईजी नाउ ओपन हो रहे हैं नॉर्थ हिस्ट्री के ऑल राइट right, चलो so these were the causes theek hai another important point that you need to add over here ek aur important point jo yahan par aapko add karna hai wo ye hai that the semi feudal the semi feudal commanders the semi feudal commanders of the of the this you can add in the conclusion also of the civil uprisings of the civil uprisings had had traditional world view had traditional world view and they were they were backward minded they were backward minded so their main goal their main goal was to return was to return to older system to older systems of government of government and social ties and social ties that is why they were not able to adapt towards the changing rapid changes that the britishers were bringing in okay whatever rapid changes in the administration economy culture administration the britishers were bringing the semi feudal commanders the zamindars or the paikas or the money lenders they were not able to adapt themselves to these you know western mind uh, mindset that so that is why they were agitating against the britishers because their goal was to return back to their older system of governance अब तक जैसा जो चल रहा है वो उसमें कंफर्टेबल थे अब ये फिरंगी आके चीजें चेंज कर रहे हैं उनको कंफर्टेबल नहीं लग रहा था पीपल वर नॉट कंफर्टेबल दैट इज आल्सो व्हाई दे एजिटेटेड अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिशर्स यहां तक पॉइंट क्लियर सो दिस यू कैन ऐड इन योर कंक्लूजन इफ द क्वेश्चन कम्स व्हाट वर द कॉजेस बिहाइंड द सिविल अपराइजिंग्स व्हिच स्टार्टेड वे बिफोर 1857 ओके इंट्रोडक्शन आई टोल्ड यू मेन बॉडी ऑफ द आंसर आई टोल्ड यू नाउ द कंक्लूजन आल्सो लेट मी नो इफ if you feel you are cramming things or if you feel that you are understanding things and now you are able to write an answer on it jaldi se batao lag raha hai ki ratta bazi ho rahi hai ya lag raha hai ki hum samajh pa rahe hain cheezon ko kaise introduction banana hai body banana hai conclusion banana hai ki ab hum apne dimag se bhi likh payenge answer understanding okay good can i give you a homework question ek homework question de do will you be able to write an answer after the class and try to write the answer after the class only Don't think that boy will write the answer tomorrow after the class, so that it will become become embedded in your mind. Okay, I'll give you a question. Write it down. There were there were many uprisings even before eighteen fifty seven. Discuss the causes. behind civil uprisings before 1857 civil uprisings that india faced that india faced before 1857 and here it will be a 12.5 mark ka question so within one or 1.5 page you have to write the answer maximum limit is डेढ़ पेज का ठीक है पॉइंट क्लियर विल यू बी एबल टू राइट द आंसर नाउ दिस इज अ होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू यू हैव टू ट्राई इट टुडे आज ही ट्राई करना है आफ्टर द क्लास लेट मी नो इफ यू हैव रिटर्न डाउन द आंसर इफ यू हैव रिटर्न डाउन द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन लिख लिया है सबने तो फटाफट से बताओ ताकि हम आगे बढ़े ओके ऋषभ इज सेंग लिख लिया ओके ऋषभ हैज रिटर्न द क्वेश्चन वत्सल्या ईश्वर लेट मी नो इफ यू हैव रिटर्न द क्वेश्चन there are there is one more student sai with the name sai sai let me know if you are also participating in the class or not all right very good 
Have you also written down the question? Can I delete it now? Are you understanding? Is the explanation clear? All right. So you also participate in the comment section. Okay. It would be very engaging. Chalo, now coming on to a very important uh, topic that we are going to study today. That is, I'll change the ink now. Yes, that is the Sanyasi revolt. We are going to study the Sanyasi revolt. Why the Sanyasi revolt is important? Because the Sanyasi revolt is, we are not talking about one revolt. It was a, a common term used for three revolts that happened in India. There were three separate events that happened in India. And they are clubbed together in one revolt known as Sanyasi revolt. So here, when we talk about Sanyasi revolt, the time period is 1763 to 1800s. This is the time period of this revolt, the uh, major time period. Okay? And here, it was a culmination of three separate events. It was a culmination of three separate events. So first event was known as the Hindu Sanyasis revolt. The Hindu Sanyasis revolt. This is the first event. And this took place in northern India. Okay, from North India. Basically, the uh, Sanyasis belonged to North India. They belonged to North India. Second event took place in 1771. Okay, wherein 150 saints were killed without any reason. Without any reason, they were killed. No reason was given from the Britishers' side. Ki why they were killing these people. No reason given. And second is the Dasanami, the Dasanami Naga Sanyasis. Dasanami Naga Sanyasis. We'll study about the Hindu Sanyasi revolt and the Dasanami Naga Sanyasis. Okay? Because here we know the reason, it was clear cut reason, and it was keep 150 saints were killed. The Britishers took no accountability, mm -hmm. they were not answerable. And they said they did not give any reason. So that is why the sannyasis, they agitated. Ki bhaiya, what is this? You are murdering people now. And you are not even giving a reason why you are doing it. Okay, so that was the 1771 revolt. What happened during the Hindu sannyasi revolt and Dasanami Naga sannyasi revolt? This is the revolt. Okay. What exactly happened? The reason was same. In both these revolts, the reason was same. What was the reason? Ki that the sannyasis or the Hindu saints from North India they used to visit different parts of Bengal. You can write it down also simultaneously. So these Hindu sannyasis from North India, they used to visit different parts of Bengal. Okay. And when they used to go to these different parts of Bengal, what they used to do there? Over here, you can write it down. First, they used to exact a religious tax a religious tax from the headmen of that particular area where they were visiting and zamindars. Now, when the sannyasis visit your area, what do, what do you do? You give them some donation, money or food items, etc. Some jewelry, some jewelry in the sense gold coins or silver coins. In medieval Indian history, that was the practice. When a sannyasi used to visit the area of a particular headman, village headman or ruler or zamindar, they used to give them money or food or chappals or clothes, etc. That was a kind of religious tax. Ki, no, religious tax, we have given it a name, but it was a kind of dakshina or donation which was made to these sannyasis, okay, for their comfort. Ki bhaiya, they are visiting here, so as a sign of respect and humility, we are giving them some money or some food to eat. That was part of religious tax, you can say. Okay. And during the prosperity, when the king used to be very prosper, uh, prosperous, when the kingdom was very healthy, they used to, you know, uh, uh, these kings and the rulers, zamindars, they used to happily donate a large amount of sum and, you know, other things to these sannyasis as Dakshina. But under East India Company's rule, under East India Company's rule, the officials, what they did, the East India Company officials, they obtained Diwani from the local rulers. What is the meaning of Diwani? Write it down. This is important for prelims. What is Diwani? Diwani basically means the right to collect tax. This is important for prelims. Write it down. 
राइट टू कलेक्ट टैक्स दैट इज दीवानी उसको हम दीवानी बोलते हैं ठीक है नाउ द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी टू थिंग्स है दे हैड गॉट द दीवानी दैट इज द राइट टू कलेक्ट टैक्स सो दे वर कलेक्टिंग टैक्सेस फ्रॉम द लोकल हेडमैन एंड जमींदार्स ठीक है तो जमींदार एंड हेडमैन दे वर अंडर द ऑब्लिगेशन टू पे दीज ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी ऑफिशियल टैक्सेस ठीक है ड्यूटीज एक्सेट्रा so when they were already paying huge amount of taxes to east india company when the sanyasis used to visit their area the zamindars were not able to donate anything to these sanyasis because already they were under the burden of the east india company officials to pay them the taxes on a monthly basis so they had no money left for making donations okay one reason second reason these east india company officials used to find these sanyasis as wanderers they have no motive nothing free looters free loaders they used they used to call these sanyasis as free loaders you are not even doing something no work you have you know healthy body and everything still you are not working still you are asking for donations so these east india company officials never used to understand spirituality right or detachment etc they used to think ki sanyasis they are free loaders taking donation from zamindars and enjoying their life we are going to stop it that these are the two reasons why the east india company officials basically tortured the sanyasis they were increasing the tax demands from the zamindars so the zamindars were not able to pay anything any donation to the sanyasis any dakshina okay and second what they were doing they were east india company officials were taunting and disrespecting the sanyasis i told you in the last lecture there was a very famous saint who was jailed by the british officials tell me the name of that sanyasi that saint enlightened saint he was telanga swami okay telanga swami who was more than 200 years old and still the east india company officials jailed him imprisoned him ishwar is saying ma'am once again explain diwani point diwani point is ki see i am arpita is east india company official theek hai i am an official of east india company okay ishwar and you are a zamindar okay ishwar you are a zamindar ishwar is a zamindar and over here sai is the indian ruler princely state ruler okay now what am i doing i have obtained the right from sai to collect diwani that is right to collect tax from the zamindar zamindar who is under the rule of indian ruler so indian ruler has permitted sai has permitted me to collect taxes from the zamindar now the zamindar ishwar you are the zamindar you were very prosperous when the saints used to visit your house and your place you used to donate very lavishly right but now if you are earning 100 90 rupees i am taking as taxes i am east india company official you are left with 10 rupees with those 10 rupees you have to feed your family also when the sanyasi visits your house you will not be able to pay him huge lavish donations right clear that is why the sanyasi is felt very disrespected and i am not talking about enlightened saints here sanyasi here does not mean an enlightened saint sanyasi here also means somebody who has gotten out of his house in search of god or who is preaching god and vedas studying vedas etc trying to know the spiritual side of human life okay not uh, really a, an enlightened person enlightened person does not care about dakshina or donation he sits somewhere in solace in solitude but sanyasi is basically also involved those people those saints who are in search of the truth okay so they have to feed themselves so they are taking dakshina from people clear ishwar point is clear everyone point is clear why the hindu sanyasi revolt happened and same thing happened in dasnam sanyasi nagar you know uh, case also here naga nagas were those sanyasi who were naked they did not wear any clothes so the east india company officials used to be, you know berate them be little them so they were insulting spiritual side of india also that is why they these people revolted against the britishers when we talk about hindu sanyasi revolt there was a very famous person who is involved who who was the leader of this revolt his name is write it down pandit bhavani charan pathak a very famous sanyasi who was the leader of hindu sanyasi revolt and overall there was a very you know overall this sanyasi revolt was fought under the leadership of write it down pandit bhavani charan pathak यही जो थे ना भवानी चरण पाठक ओवरऑल सन्यासी रिवोल्ट वाज फॉट अंडर हिज लीडरशिप ओनली और दीज थ्री सेपरेट इवेंट्स पंडित भवानी चरण पाठक वाज टेकन एज द लीडर एज द 
पर्सन हु केम टू द फोर फ्रंट टू फाइट द बैटल और हु लेड द पीपल ठीक है एंड दीज रिवोल्ट सो इक्वल पार्टिसिपेशन फ्रॉम बोथ हिंदूज एंड मुस्लिम सो देर वॉज हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी ऑल्सो बिकॉज द फकीर वर्क फ्रॉम मुस्लिम कम्युनिटीज सो हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी वॉज देयर ड्यूरिंग दीज रिवोल्ट ऑल राइट प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ पॉइंट यहां तक क्लियर है आपके दिमाग में इफ द पॉइंट आर क्लियर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया let me know in the comment section sign the point is clear all right yahan tak point clear hai now there is another important point that you need to write down for prelims prelims ke liye ek aur important point aapko likhna hai please write down that bankim chandra there was a very famous writer bankim chandra chatterjee he wrote a very important novel that novel is known as anandamath and it was written in 1882 it was set in the backdrop of in the backdrop of sanyasi rebellion only okay so during the sanyasi rebellion the basically uh, theme of the novel novel was the sanyasi rebellion and this book was banned this book was banned by the britishers is kitab ko britishers ne ban bhi kiya tha and this question came in prelims pyq se uthaya hai maine i picked up this from pyq so this particular book was also banned by the britishers okay point clear and do you know there is another important point that point is that india's india's national song What is India's national song? Let me know in the comment section. Let's see how many of you are aware of it. India's national song is very good, everyone. Vande Mataram, very good. It is Vande Mataram. So India's India's national song Vande Mataram was also taken from this novel. Was taken from very good Sai, very good Ishman. Uh, was taken from Anand Mat only. So they can ask you this question in prelims. or in interview ki vande matram and normal people don't know about it this is the beauty of upsc preparation this is the beauty what normal people does not know right you know it already aapko pata hai that is the beauty of this preparation there are things that you have an edge over other people aur logo se zyada gyan aapko hai isme vande matram was taken from anand mand there are so many people including my friends some of my friends who don't know what india's national song is so this is the beauty of upsc preparation you are aware of so many things okay you do not just know about the national song you also know from where this national song has been taken from it has been taken from bankim chandra chatterjee's novel anandamath which was written in 1882 which was banned by britishers and it was set in the backdrop of sanyasi rebellion let me know class mein yaad ho raha hai aapko ya nahi are you able to learn things in the class itself but how to retain it revision डेली रिविजन करोगे वरना यू विल फॉरगेट इट इन द नेक्स्ट बाय द एंड ऑफ नेक्स्ट वीक अगले हफ्ते के एंड तक भूल जाओगे अगर रिवाइज नहीं करोगे सो कीप ऑन रिवाइजिंग ठीक है डेली रिविजन इज नेसेसरी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फकीर अपराइजिंग बट बिफोर दैट लेट्स टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक ठीक है एक छोटा सा ब्रेक ले लेते हैं डू यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक फाइव मिनट्स का रिवाइज गेट अप ड्रिंक वॉटर स्ट्रेच योर बॉडी एंड देन वील कम बैक ओके okay. एक छोटा सा ब्रेक ले लेते हैं टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक फाइव मिनट्स का अभी टाइम इज व्हाट इज द टाइम राइट नाउ सेवन जीरो थ्री ना विल मीट एट सेवन जीरो नाइन ठीक है टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक शॉर्ट ब्रेक आई कम आफ्टर सेवन जीरो एट ओके विद द फकीर अपराइजिंग नाउ दी ब्रेक टाइम इज ओवर फकीर अपराइजिंग बेसिकली इट स्टार्टेड राइट इट डाउन it started after the british annexation the british annexation of bengal the british annexation of bengal by fakirs or the wandering the wandering ye main yahan se hata deti hu because you will get confused the britishers when they annexed bengal the fakir uprising started and it was started by fakirs 
ठीक है फकीर वर ऑल्सो नोन एज दी वॉन्ड्रिंग दे वर ऑल्सो नोन एज दी वॉन्ड्रिंग मुस्लिम मेंडिकेंट्स और सन्यासीज ठीक है मुस्लिम सन्यासीज यू कैन से पॉइंट क्लियर यहां तक एंड दे वर लेड बाय दे वर लेड बाय मजनू शाह दे वर लेड बाय मजनू शाह फकीर अपराइजिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी कोटेड एज एग्जाम्पल इन नेम्स एंड ऑल्सो फॉर प्रिलियम्स फॉर नेम्स द रेलिवेंस ऑफ फकीर अपराइजिंग इज फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट ओनली बट फॉर प्रिलियम्स द रेलिवेंस इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके सो यू कैन राइट द रेलिवेंस ओवर हियर यहाँ पर आप रेलिवेंस पे लिख दो सो दैट वेन यू विल रिवाइज यू विल रिमेंबर द रेलिवेंस याद रहेगा आपको सो हियर मेन्स के लिए रेलिवेंस इज फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट ओनली टू बी यूज ओनली एज एग्जाम्पल इफ द क्वेश्चन ऑन अपराइजिंग स्कम and for prelims it is 100% relevant because they can ask you about the leader of fakir uprising definitely question on leadership will come or chronological arrangement of uprisings can come so they isme aapka year thoda sa aapko yaad rakhna hai theek hai now what happens majnu shah what did what he did write it down he defied he defied the british authority the british authority and began and began to levy taxes to levy taxes on the farmers theek hai he defied the british authority and mat likhna yahan par aap likh sakte ho because the britishers began to levy taxes on farmers and zamindars and zamindars in bengal i told you in the last you know Uh, a slide that why these sanyasis or the fakirs were protesting they were protesting because they used to get dakshina and donation from the zamindars and the farmers but now the british authorities were levying taxes on these farmers and zamindars these zamindars and farmers were not left with more much money to be given in donation and that is why these fakirs and sanyasis were not welcomed uh, you know and uh, you know don uh, given donation lavishly uh, jaise ki pehle inko milta tha right just like before the coming of britishers they used to get the donations that ended because of the britishers that is why majnu shah he defied the british authority and he started protesting against them okay point clear ho gaya so what happened in fakir uprising the fakirs write it down the fakirs what they did they looted english factories they looted the english factories they acquired they acquired what acquired cash arms that is weapons and ammunitions theek hai arms ammunitions cash inhone kya kiya acquire karna factory se loot karke shuru kar diya and they were supported by the majnu shah he was supported by rajputs he was supported by rajputs pathans ठीक है, he was supported by Rajputs and Pathans in this mm -hmm. uprising. And when Majnu Shah died, यहाँ पर आप लिख सकते हो, after the death of Majnu Shah, after the death of Majnu Shah, who led the rebellion? His brother. His brother, he led the operation. His brother's name was Chirag Shah. His brother's name was Chirag Shah. He led the uprising after Majnu Shah died. यहाँ तक point clear हो गया तो जल्दी से बताओ. Let me know in the comment section if the points are clear. फटाफट. Point clear, everyone. Let me know in the comment section. Clear. Now take a picture of the flowchart that you have created right now and post it on the telegram group jaldi se fatafat i'm waiting we are going to study the next important revolt which is write it down the pagal panthi revolt pagal panthi revolt the names are very amusing naam bahut amusing hai iske 1825 till 1850 theek hai to ye aapka next revolt which is the pagal panthi revolt and it is the relevance is only for prelims not for mains theek hai relevance is ka prelims ke liye yes you can quote this as an example in your mains answer if 
questions on uprisings are asked. Acha, V means Vikas. Okay, Vikas. Now here when we talk about the Pagal Panthi revolt, yahan par aap likhoge, that again Pagal Panthi was a religious order. Okay, again yahan par Pagal Panthi was a religious order. It was a religious order. Okay, and it was founded by, it was founded by, write it down, Kareem Shah. It was founded by Kareem Shah. Where? In Bengal. In Bengal. Okay, so Pagal Panthi was a religious order which was founded by Kareem Shah in Bengal. First point. Now, what was the philosophy of this religious order? Iski philosophy kya thi ye likh lete hain. What was the philosophy of this religious order? Very simple. First, religious harmony. That is, all religions are one. Okay, religious harmony. All religions should be accepted and respected. Second was non-violence. Just like Jainism and Buddhism, non-violence. Third was, third, yaan par aapka, you know, philosophy of Pagal Panthi religion's order was, write it down, incorporating incorporating the tenets. Tenets means principles. Write it down. Tenets means principles. If you use these words, it will enhance your main answer writing skills. Incorporating the principles or tenets of Sufism, Hinduism, and Animism. Okay, here the point clear. Ho hai. Sufism, Hinduism, and Animism. Please let me know if you have written till this point. If you have written here, please tell me quickly. If you have written till this point, let me know. Animism, ka matlab kya hota hai? what is animism? Animism basically means, yes, I, uh, you have some doubts. Animism means when you are worshipping nature. When you are worshipping the material nature. That is animism. The living beings. When you see God in the nature. Okay? For example, trees. You are worshipping trees. Because you say that trees, they hold soul. Right? Trees, they have different soul trees have the trees are also living beings we should respect them worship them when you are worshiping leaves when you are worshiping plants or animals they have soul right they are also living beings they also feel so that is animism point clear let me know all right so yoga in ka philosophy this was the philosophy of Pagal Panti religious order now under the you can write down over here under the under the leadership of under the leadership of Karim Shah, under the leadership of Karim Shah's son, Karim Shah's son was Tipu Shah, not Tipu Sultan, Tipu Shah. Okay. The order revolted. The order that is the Pagal Panti order, it revolted against against the British government, against the British government. Now here, you have to remember one important point. This Pagal Panti religious order was created by Kareem Shah, but the revolt was done by Tipu Shah. Point clear? If in prelims they ask you the question, ki the Pagal Panti order, it was, uh, the Pagal Panti revolt was undertaken under the leadership of Kareem Shah, the answer would be wrong. Okay? It was not undertaken. The revolt was not undertaken by Karim Shah. It was undertaken by Tipu Shah. Revolt hua Tipu Shah ke dwara. Pagal Panti order ki rachna ki hai Karim Shah ne. The order was established by Karim Shah. Revolt happened under Tipu Shah. Please keep this in mind. And please, you know, draw structure around this particular name. So that you can remember why we have highlighted it. Taki aap yaad rakho ki humne kyun highlight kiya hai. Thik hai? Revolt Tipu Shah. And founded by this, this order organization was founded by Karim Shah. Okay, point clear. Okay, and they were against what? Write it down. They were against, they were against oppressive, oppressive tax regime. They were against oppressive tax regime of the British. Britishers ka jo tax regime tha, ye uske against the. They were against the oppressive tax
टैक्स रिजीम यहाँ तक पॉइंट क्लियर हुआ सबको Now, when we talk about Tipu Shah, what happened to Tipu Shah? So you can write over here that Tipu Shah was, you know, he what he did, he captured first, he captured Sherpur through his revolt. He captured Sherpur where in eighteen twenty five. Okay, point clear. And this revolt continued till eighteen fifty, but the Britishers were successful in suppressing the revolt. Tipu Shah captured. Sherpur in 1825, but this revolt carried on for till 1850. But the Britishers were successful in suppressing the revolt ultimately. ठीक है point clear हो गया है यहाँ तक सभी को तो please मुझे जल्दी से बताओ. This was you know these 25 साल का ये revolt हुआ था, but this revolt was not did not happen on a large scale like a revolt of 1857. Very in some areas they used to create disturbances by throwing stones at, at the officials. By throwing stones at their companies and factories, only this level was maintained in this revolt. Okay, they just used to throw pet, uh, you know, pet uh, the pellets and stones at the British officials. Nothing more than that. Little disturbances till twenty five years it it continued and then it ended. यहाँ तो point clear हो गया सभी को तो let me know. And if you have noted this down, let me know in the comment section. Rishab is saying yes. Vatsalya, yes. What about Sai uh, Ishwar? Let me know in the comment section. सबने लिख लिया नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिवोल्ट अब नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिवोल्ट क्या पढ़ने वाले हैं अभी हम दैट इज नोन एज राइट इट डाउन दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर प्रिलिम्स बिकॉज टू टाइम्स क्वेश्चन दिस इज फेरजी रिवोल्ट दिस इज फेरजी रिवोल्ट विच हैपन इन एटीन थर्टी एट कैंडेड ऑन टिल एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन ठीक है तो ये है हमारा फरजी रिवोल्ट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है टू टाइम्स PYQs इसमें से आ चुके हैं प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन दो बार इसमें से पूछे जा चुके हैं दैट इज वाई इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट बेसिकली दी परजीज हुआ करते थे ये दी परजीज देवर दी फॉलोअर्स ऑफ देवर दी फॉलोअर्स ऑफ अ मुस्लिम सेक्टर और मुस्लिम सेक्ट ठीक है दिस मुस्लिम सेक्ट वॉज लेड बाय राइट इट डाउन दिस मुस्लिम सेक्ट वॉज लेड बाय Haji Shariatullah he was the spiritual leader of this muslim sect whose followers were known as parazis theek hai and this particular revolt was spread it was spread to faridpur to bakharganj and write it down my main singh now these areas were the districts of bengal So basically, the revolts were happening in Bihar and Bengal so far. Odisha, Bihar, and Bengal districts of Bengal, and basically these spiritual revolts were happening in Bengal. When we talk about Sanyasi rebellion, that also happened in Bengal. So these remember this: that Bengal was the spiritual hub also at that time. Okay, so Parisi revolt was conducted by Parisis. who were the who were the followers of muslim sect which was led by haji shariatullah the revolt was not led by haji shariatullah the followers started this revolt those followers used to follow haji shariatullah as their spiritual leader this revolt spread to faridpur bakharganj maimen singh which were the districts of bengal and this revolt was led by the son of haji shariatullah's son of haji shariatullah उस नेम वॉज दादू मिया ठीक है तो लाइक जस्ट लाइक दीवियस रिवोल्ट विच वॉज द पागलपंथी रिवोल्ट द फाउंडर ऑफ पागलपंथी रिलीजियस ऑर्डर वॉज करीम शाह बट हिज सन टीपू शाह लेट द रिवोल्ट सेम वे इन फारिजी रिवोल्ट द रिवोल्ट वॉज लेट बाय दादू मिया हु वॉज द सन ऑफ हाजी शरियातुल्ला 
हुस वर नोन एज परजीज ठीक है यहाँ तक पॉइंट क्लियर हो गया सभी को एंड वॉट वॉज द रीजन ऑफ द रिवोल्ट वॉट वॉज द कॉज ऑफ द रिवोल्ट वाई डिड इट स्टार्ट वेरी सिंपल बहुत सिंपल है इसका आंसर द रीजन वॉज राइट इट डाउन दिस रिवोल्ट सपोर्टेड द कॉज सपोर्टेड द कॉज ऑफ द टेनेंट्स ऑफ द टेनेंट्स अगेंस्ट अगेंस्ट द लैंड लॉर्ड्स एंड द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट एंड द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट so basically the tenants the landlords sorry the tenants they were protesting against the zamindars the landlords and british government so the people of the farisi revolt they were supporting the tenants okay tenants or the farmers or the peasants you can call them okay yahan tak point clear ho gaya sabhi ko farisi revolt is clear or not let me know and then we'll study one more revolt and then we'll end the class okay tomorrow we'll be studying 1857 ka revolt and uske baad we'll study all the administrative changes that came after the 1857 revolt yahan tak sabne note down kar liya to patapat se batao if you have noted this down let me know in the comment section rishabh is saying yes What about Ishwar Sai Vatsalya? Let me know in the comment section if you have noted this down. Okay, so I have noted down. Kaliya, very good. Now coming with the last revolt, which is the Kuka revolt. The Kuka revolt. From this revolt, questions have not been asked. That means, उसका मतलब क्या है? जल्दी बताओ. From this revolt so far, questions have not been asked. What does that mean? इसका मतलब क्या है जल्दी से बताओ यस दैट मींस यू नेवर नो इन योर अटेम्प्ट दे कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन अभी तक तो नहीं पूछा बट हमारी किस्मत तो पता ही है ना कैसी है वी ऑल नो हाउ आर लक वर्क स्पेशली आर लक राइट वी डोंट नो अबाउट द लक ऑफ अदर पीपल बट वी नो अबाउट आर लक एंड इट इज नेवर इन आर फेवर राइट जस्ट ऑन अ जोकिंग साइड इन जस्ट आई एम से हमारी किस्मत हमें पता है दूसरों की तो पता है बहुत बढ़िया है हमारी किस्मत हमारे फेवर में ही नहीं होती है एंड दिस इज अबाउट ऑल दी हंड्रेड परसेंट पीपल इन दिस वर्ल्ड एवरी वन से मिडल राइट सबका यही कहना है आप अकेले नहीं हो इस दुनिया में किसी से भी बात कर लो सब यही बोलते हैं भाई अपनी किस्मत ही फूटी है बाकी सब तो एंजॉय कर रहे हैं ठीक है सो वी ऑलवेज लुक एट आर सेल्व इन पिटी एंड यू नो होता भी हमारे साथ मजाक होता भी है द यूनिवर्स प्लेज विद अस राइट एवरी टाइम तो इसीलिए वी हैव टू बी प्रिपेयर्ड सो कुका रिवोल्ट 1871 टू 7 1871 यहां पर होता है एक साल का ही होता है ये ठीक है दिस इज वन ईयर रिवोल्ट ओनली 1871 एंड हु वर द कुकास सो बेसिकली द कुकास दे वर कॉल्ड राइट इट डाउन दे वर कॉल्ड दे वर आल्सो कॉल्ड राइट इट डाउन आल्सो दे वर कॉल्ड नामधारीस नामधारीस एंड दे वर अ सेक्ट विद इन सिखिज्म विद इन सिखिज्म so this basically revolt involves the sikh followers okay within sikhism there is a sect separate religious sect which is known as namadharis and they are also known as kukas unko hum kukas bhi bolte hain okay yahan tak point clear next point write it down they started out they started out as a group for as a group for religious purification religious purification in which religion sikhism in sikhism but under under their leader ram singh this movement this kuka movement or this kuka revolt okay acquired this kuka movement not revolt acquired this kuka movement acquired a political overtone Acquired a political overtone, okay. And here now the new aim of this, you know, uh, movement was to restore, to restore the Sikh rule in Punjab by throwing out, by throwing out. Just give me a second. I'll remove this. By throwing out the Britishers from Punjab. 
पॉइंट क्लियर हो गया यहाँ तक तो बेसिकली पॉइंट क्या था कि दी कुका मूवमेंट वॉज दी मूवमेंट विद इन सिखिजम एंड द कुकाज वर ऑल्सो नोन एज नामधारी ओके एंड दे वर गोइंग ऑन नाइसली बेसिकली नामधारी मेडिटेट एक्सेट्रा बट अंडर राम सिंह लीडरशिप दिस मूवमेंट एक्वायर द पोलिटिकल टर्न बेसिकली राम सिंह एम वॉज टू रिस्टोर द सिख रूल इन पंजाब एंड टू रिमूव द ब्रिटिशर्स आउट ऑफ पंजाब सो दिस मूवमेंट ऑल्सो टू दी पोलिटिकल ओवरटोन सो द कुकाज दे वोर ओनली दे वोर ओनली वाइट ठीक है हैंड वोवन वाइट हैंड वोवन क्लोथ ये जो कुकाज थे सफेद कपड़े हाथ से बने कपड़े पहनते थे ठीक है एंड दे बॉय कॉटेड दे बॉय कॉटेड ब्रिटिश एजुकेशन दैट इज द वेस्टर्न एजुकेशन द वेस्टर्न एजुकेशन ब्रिटिश प्रोडक्ट एनी प्रोडक्ट मेड बाय दी वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज एंड ब्रिटिश लॉस इनके लॉस को भी इन्होंने यू नो रिजेक्ट किया बॉयकॉटेड देयर लॉस ब्रिटिश लॉस ब्रिटिश एजुकेशन ब्रिटिश प्रोडक्ट्स एंड इन 1872 1872 दिस लीडर राम सिंह ही वाज कैप्चर्ड इनको कर लिया गया कैप्चर ठीक है एंड ही वाज एग्जाइल्ड एग्जाइल मतलब व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एग्जाइल देश निकाला ठीक है इनको बनवास दे दिया राम वॉज एग्जाइल्ड पुरुषोत्तम किंग राम वॉज एग्जाइल्ड इन रामायणा सेम वे राम सिंह वॉज एग्जाइल्ड एंड ही वॉज सेंड टू रंगून देर वॉज ओनली वन प्लेस वेयर द ब्रिटिशर्स यूज टू सेंड ऑल द पीपल इन ऑन एग्जाइल रंगून देर वॉज अ लिटिल यू नो रूम इन रंगून वेयर देर वॉज ओनली स्मॉल विंडो एट द टॉप ऑफ द रूम एंड पीपल यूज टू बी सेंट इन दैट रूम एंड यू नो डेली फूड वगैरह वॉज सर्व टू देम बट दे यूज टू स्टे इन दैट डार्क रूम लिटिल लाइट यूज टू कम थ्रू अ विंडो दैट वॉज द पनिशमेंट वेरी हार्श पनिशमेंट Ram Singh also was captured. He was sent to Rangoon. Even Bahadur Shah, uh, you know, Zafar was sent to Rangoon. So he was exiled, sent to Rangoon. Okay, and along with him, sixty-five Kukas also were blown away. He was sent on exile, and sixty-five Kukas. That means the Namdharis. They were blown away through cannons. Top se uda diya gaya. They were, you know, tied to the cannons, and they were blown away. That was the punishment given to the followers of Sikhism. the naam dharis yahan tak point clear ho gaya please let me know if the point is clear theek hai yahan tak point clear ho gaya sabhi ko all right so this was our today's class let me know in the comment section did you all enjoy today's class aaj ka class lecture acha laga sabhi ko understood clarity was there i explained the lecture not from the perspective of mains only but prelims also both pre and mains sai this was your first class today please let me know in the comment section was this your first class yes so did you enjoy are you satisfied with your first class today aaj pehli class achhi lagi did you enjoy it Ex understood everything you have missed the first three cl four classes so the link is given on the telegram channel okay the playlist is given on the telegram channel you can click on it and you know uh, follow up with those lectures okay we have studied so many things before it so you can study through those lectures and the notes also you can make simultaneously however i have also uploaded the pdf in the media section of the group you can find the pdf in vatsalya rishab ishwar and vikas did you enjoy today's class and sai also do make notes okay keep making notes and once in a while take a screenshot of your one of your flow charts and uh, post it on the telegram group okay so that i can also see how in a structured manner you are making the notes everyone enjoyed okay so we'll meet tomorrow tomorrow we'll be conducting the class are you all okay with it 6 pm because we have to study 1857 ka revolt and administrative changes in india as well so everyone is ready for 6 pm ki class or sunday ko class aapko late karni hai 7 pm वैसे तो मेजोरिटी स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग फॉर सिक्स पी एम ओनली येस आई शुड आई ओपन अप योर वीडियो लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन